Good evening, folks. Welcome to the Friday Frothy. We're here again for another fantastic interview, mate. Yes. Another, uh, another mate of yours. Another mate, uh, another Hawthorne great of uh, the uh, Hawthorne Footy Club. It's probably a little bit unfair, uh, Jeff, that we haven't had uh, <laughs> a couple of North Melbourne guys, so we're going to have to do our homework. I might have to do some homework well, and get go. a North Melbourne guy on for you. That'd be bloody lovely. that you've given me uh, yeah, quite well. a few of late, so guys, uh, we were very lucky. Go and grab yourself a froth. We're <laughs> about to introduce you to Hawthorne Great. Great. Legend now because he was he played in the two thousand and eight Premiership side. Trent, uh, the Crow. great Trent Crowe. This is the Friday Frothy. Guys, I'm News. You're listening to the Friday Frothy. What a fantastic show! gentlemen please welcome from hawthorne trent crowd good evening trent thanks for joining us mate how are you buddy how are you trent yeah, good boys good good really good great to have you on the show mate yeah. thanks for coming on uh, <laughs> trent you were, you were born in, in new zealand yes yeah i was born in rotorua new zealand rotorua. Um, okay yeah up north bit smelly rotorua if any uh, anyone's traveled there before it's obviously the sulfur air and yeah. And uh, the hot springs, but yeah, my grandfather's an All Black. He played uh, from 1946 to 49. Oh wow! And um, so yeah, we uh, when my brothers and I arrived, and my brother actually got drafted by Carlton Cameron as well. And uh, when we arrived here, we grew up in a place called Doncaster, where yeah, um, Doncaster. We were, yeah. yeah, we were big into little athletics, right? So we were, we we're doing that, and we picked up the ball at this Doncaster Heights Junior Football Club. And we put the ball under our arm and took off. And they said, no, nah, you've got to bounce it and you've got to handball it. So we had to, we had to learn it pretty quick smart. Sewell, like his game this afternoon, Brett Sewell. High ball to centre. Oh, boy! Flying high. Three deep there was Trent Crow. What a mark. Great grab. Wearing the 24, made famous by Peter Knights. And that one had a bit of Peter Knights about it. Coming from New Zealand, I was, would have been about seven or eight. And... Okay. Um, yeah, so we, we, had, we had to learn it, but I came through Doncaster Heights Junior Football Club. Did you did you pick the game up pretty quickly? Um, I'd say yes, but not from an uh, ethical point of view in the sense that back then it would have been the footballer or the footballer. We were more of an athlete playing football. And, um, uh, and basically... Uh, we applied our athletics that we were doing. We were 400 metre runners, 200 metre, 100 metre runners at the time. And we applied that to the sport, which may have been a little bit of a differential, which what they apply today is basically you've got to sprint around and be a marathon person and a sprinter and be able to handle yeah. at the moment with a couple of good guys around you. So I was very blessed with the time that um, at that time that I, I had an athletic ability in the background here, yeah, basically. Yeah. So your uh, your education, uh, Trent, so I know I'll, I'll probably jump in ahead here, but the De La Sala, is it? College? Is that right? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it in Tasmania. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds sort of French to me. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's, pretty, is odd. It? it's pretty odd down here. <laughs> yeah, just no, had another I beer, mate. I don't know. It could, it could sound like anything at the moment. De Costello. Uh, De Costello could be. Yeah. Yeah. Put, me in wine. Put me in wine glass, mate. And, 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 and ah, I'm nice place. Very... Yeah, nice, so, nice spot down there, mate. Word. So, so when you, you've, you've come over at that age and you've started playing football, and what made you go towards Australian rules football and, and not towards rugby? Yeah, did you have that rugby background, obviously, hmm. coming from New Zealand, or was you too young? As you said, you were only seven or eight, wasn't you, really, when you came over? Oh, you, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great question. Um, the... <sighs> The, the ability that we had from athletics background with my brothers, with three of us, was very, very strong, but we were able to adapt to football at time that seemed to be changing again. You know, it always changes and changes and changes, mm. and we are able to do it. So I adapted to it to, you know, towards our, coming out of that Doncaster uh, Heights Football Club, yeah. and then you were basically playing VSPL under 18s at 15, um, where every AFL club was allowed one 17-year-old. Okay. I so you basically came through that system and I went through and and what my draft 97, Travis Johnson went number one, um, Brad Ottens went number two, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I was number three, there's Tarrant, there's Goods, there's Saddington, there's a whole lot of players in there that are all played more than 200 games at the time. But coming from New Zealand, I didn't grow up with that 
uh, authentic football background, but I bought, uh, I guess I bought another background to me, which was uh, athletically based. Mm. Okay. And, and so obviously then being at school and, and, and getting into footy and that, so what, uh, obviously you was uh, Hawthorne's pick, uh, 2004, third pick. Mm. How did you, so that transition, as you got into football through the juniors, I'll, I'll go back a step. Obviously, you must have showed that athleticism you, you, you're talking about with your, uh, you know, just being a, a pure athlete and then getting the skills with footy. Exactly. Who was your influences there, mate, through, uh, even through your school? Great right, question you? again. Yeah. Well, 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 number nine, Shane Crawford, of course. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, look, he, he, yeah. You know, after being under him and, uh, and him or Hodgie, it's like Crawford led through his background. And back to your question before, I came through De La Salle College uh, yes. in Mole. That sounds better, doesn't it? And, <laughs> yeah, it was. It sounds better. No, it's a huge, Crawford's huge influence. But De La Salle, you got to remember, uh, year 12, I finished my year 12 Eng- English exam at De La Salle. And uh, basically what they did is they put a tip with this Someone that, something that no one knows. They put a TV in the background at De La Salle in the library. I finished that Eng- English exam in like five minutes and um, basically the draft happened and they put a TV up and all my mates at school went around me and then oh, wow. that that's on the corner of Glenfair in High Street in Malvern yeah. for people yeah. in Melbourne and then uh, basically the next week they all went on schoolies, they all went and got you know, whatever you do after year 12 and I went straight down the road and said g'day to Jason Dunstall. Nice. Oh wow, there you go mate, that's, that's sensational. I mean well no, it was a bit of sabotage, really. I'm sure I've been allowed to go to schoolies after school or yeah. go and have or should oh, I be doing mate. the pre-season with Hawthorne Footy Club? Oh, mate, you didn't miss tough. out on too much. You got to play at the, uh, <laughs> I made at, up the at the street. I made up so, for double uh, really. Yes, I'm exactly. sure you. I'm sure meeting all those uh, all those guys uh, that you just mentioned. Yeah, yeah, and and, uh, and you were a big part of that. That. Um, so, you know, you had you had friends for life, any rate. Uh, yeah. That, so. so Trent, I'm I'm gathering from from word go, you got to Australia, started playing Australian rules football. You're a Hawthorne supporter from from the start. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, you know what? Some uh, uh, one of uh, one real rare moment away from football. Ian Robson yes. uh, was senior of uh, of Hawthorne Football Club, and. Um, the All Blacks during the uh, Bledisloe Cup trained at Waverley Park. So when they came over, I got to meet them and speak to them because obviously my grandfather's connections mm-hmm. with Eric and it's such a wonderful I so Richie, Richie McGaw, uh, Rocket Coco, some of the best of the best uh, All Blacks you've ever seen in your life. I spent a day with them. I was on the bus with them and, um, spent, and then I went and watched the game with them as well. So it was wonderful for if my grandfather was alive, he'd passed away by then. Mm. But for his code from New Zealand to have flowed into the only grand national as well, it, in a different country on the same track at the same uh, club, it was an amazing moment. So it was re- really, really special for me to have the All Blacks train at Waverley Park and spend the day with them because our codes crossed. So it just shows you if you. When, when these AFL players or clubs, sorry, um, draft international people, there is some scope out there as well. We uh, we actually went away. All us guys here that are talking to you now, we all went to New Zealand uh, uh, just in, at Christmas time, mate. Uh, we didn't get caught up in just all that rotten COVID uh, stuff, mm. but we, we went over and we, we met some really nice people over there and my first trip to New Zealand that we went to Dunedin and uh, we I went through yeah. the, um, the sports we went through the sports yeah. uh, uh, all of fame there with all their sports their cricket their rugby and everything else I wonder if your uh, grandfather and that was I've got no doubt he was involved on that in that, uh, in, in that yeah, is he in that yeah, museum yeah I wonder if he's in there because they mentioned yeah, everyone um, that's played. Yeah, they do. So, yeah, his name's Eric Boggs, uh, uh, B-O-W-G, a bit yep. of an unfortunate name, but Eric Boggs, and I, I carry the name Trent Eric Crowd. Okay. But yep. he played in the 1946 to 49 South African tour. Okay. And, really? um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, back in New Zealand, there's a, a huge thing called the uh, Ren, Renfilly Shield. Yeah. 
and he was the uh, winning coach of that as well. When he coached, then he went to journalism after that over there, writing for the newspaper. And so, yeah, ERIC Boggs, um, yeah. he had a really, really big, big influence in rugby in New Zealand. So, yeah, my, my, uh, my obviously the grandson, but it, the ties are very strong. And see, the other thing is that um, it's Graham, uh, not Graham Henry, the coach, um, Mick Byrne is the kicking coach. So he played at Hawthorne Football Club. If you look up Mick Byrne, yeah, no, he's the player. Mick Byrne, left yeah. And yeah, he had, I th- yeah. You got it. I'm all, I'm all over it, mate. I'm a, Hawthorne, I'm a Hawthorne tragic, mate, so it doesn't matter. It's all good. No, what do you want to know? Song. <laughs> but he's, he's, he's the lead kicking coach for the All Blacks. Oh, you're joking, is he? Mickey Byrne. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. So he, oh, wow. So, yeah, that's when the connection came through there. So, oh. he, um, yeah, it's uh, – and Aussie's now teaching the Kiwis how to kick it, drop punt, basically, so it bounces back. But uh, that's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful tie back from New Zealand into Australia. That's incredible. So, so, Trent, so there was you. Obviously, before you was the great Wayne Swass. Did you ever yep. – did he ever – Keep in touch with you and give you obviously words of encouragement. Was being that, an older, was that same time? Was it? Yeah, was that? Well, he's, he'd be a little bit older than you, wouldn't he? Uh, Wayne Swass. Yeah, a little bit. He's about yeah. your age. No, but I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I just it was a joke because Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff's North Melbourne sit next to me, mate, and uh, I, it was really? a joke that uh, Jeff here next to That's me. Good 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 this weekend. Yes, it's huh? a big weekend. Ah, no, right? oh, yes, mate. Don't worry about game. that, mate. You know what? Huge game, huge it game, is a, boys. It is a huge Clarko, game for the Wolves. Clarko, North Melbourne. If you don't want Clarko one centimetre from your face, screaming with the spit and froths out of his mouth, <laughs> yeah. you want to play well again. Every time we play Port Adelaide, or every time we play North Melbourne, North Melbourne, he played for. Port Adelaide, he coached for. Yeah. There's always just a little. You just walk a little three or four metres away from him during that week. You know what I mean? <laughs> I spoke to Ben Guerra last night, uh, one of my oh, old yeah. mates. Little and, back pocket yeah, player? Or big back pocket? Yeah, we've got more. Yeah, I like premiership player. And we, I said, we've got uh, more this week. There's Clark, I'll be going nuts. Let's see what it, well, he's going short here. Oh, it's come up. Alistair Clarkson. Well, I'm declaring it a mark. I'm not sure what you thought, Robbo. Well, when you have a, a, another look at it, he certainly controlled it. The Hawthorne player arriving just a split second too late, and usually they are paid. Young man from Caniva. Shoots for goal, straight through the middle. So, so talking about him, mate, what, what was uh, what was he like as, yeah. as a coach with, with you? You got on all right with him? Absolutely. Um, if anything... The way that he would coach his players or the way that he would uh, influence them or want me to do something, he did it from a way that it was personal. Uh, you wanted to play for Clarko. You wanted to – you you knew if you did wrong or you knew if you did bad. It, it wasn't an instruction. You went yelled at, you went screamed at. You were supported by so many players. But during that kind of that 04 – but I came back from Fremantle in 2004 yes. yep. and – he took a group of us to uh, just a, a little group of people to Kokoda. Yep. And that involved Jared Ruffhead, uh, Lance Franklin, Jordan Lewis, uh, just this guy called Cyril. Um, He's a star, uh, mate. Yeah. And, and another elder, place, uh, elder player called Shane Crawford. And then this guy, Stuart Drew, turned up. And then these you got your chance, babies. But these guys, we all we just did this whole Kokoda together. We made a, a really big vault together while we did that course. And it really brought us together. And, mate, you want to walk 100 kilometres in four days under NA, uh, what is it? S, um, SAS training. Well, you, you want to work for each other. And then four years later, after we're at Glen Free Road, we're out at Waverley, and then four years later, we win one on in uh, 2000, which was a great day against Shillong. Clearances and 23 touches. Gives it off to Hodge. Come the moment. Step up the man. Hodge puts them a goal in front. Osborne to the run of Crawford. 305 games. He pulls it back towards the middle. Hard to move Stewie Jew in that situation. Jew inside the forward 50. We only thought about going back. Now he's got the crown. Franklin didn't take the mark, but all is well. The end's well. Buddy runs him down. Hawthorne, the champions. The long wait for Crawford over. What a 
team on and off the field that turned out to be. Oh, a huge day, huge week. Just even getting to one, um, massive. We, we couldn't believe it. We, we, I think the year before we played against South 11, came through. But the hardest thing was getting there. And since the, uh, some Bulldogs prior to it, we played that. But on that day, we were the biggest underdogs, these young kids. like. And the big thing was, I think even Bob and Thompson would say it, they let Cameron Lynn go, they let Hodgie go. Yeah. My mate Hodgie, you know, the one, I was trade for him in 2001. We became, it was wonderful to come back and play center half back with him. And, uh, me play full back and him play center half back in front of me. It's yeah. the guy I was traded for. So I just, I just say it was, it was planned to be. Yeah. But that day they let Hodgie go and they said Lingen will be able to do it too. And Hodgie got in that day and then, Cyril let go. You know, Ruffy, Ruffy and Buddy only kicked two each, but the, just the even contribution across today. Yeah, it, well into the second quarter. Yeah, I looked down. My foot was sideways. I looked mm-hmm. down. I it was knock, nasty. I, yeah. tried knock, I dislocated it. I tried to knock it back in, and it wouldn't go in. And then I saw Selwood about thirty meters away. I thought, stuff it. I've got to go. And every step that I took, and I haven't said this before, it makes me a little bit. Funny, every step that I took, I felt it break, like breaking uh, sticks. And, um, but yeah, bumped him. And then um, we got the ball back, went down the rent, went down the other end, got the goal. Then I, I went underneath and had about 16 green pethidine sticks and then came back out and we had a medal down there. So it was, a, wow. mate, it was just a huge day. It was like, I can't, I, I can't describe to you. We, we, we were, I, we were not even rated at all, yeah. and we got it. So oh, even, I remember, Clark, sorry, if I tell you something special, I remember at three-quarter time when the boys told me Clarko came out, one of his speeches was at that third quarter going in the last quarter, he said, I don't even know what's going to happen. There was no coaching. This is the level that he got people yeah. to. He gives me goosebumps all over me. He said, I don't know what's going to happen, but whatever we're feeling, let's just do it all together and let's get this done because mm. – we all deserve it. We don't know. You know what I mean? It wasn't like your, tip, tip, your, your, your typical speech of um, you've got to do this and you've got to bloody do that or yeah, whatever. Yeah. whatever yep. that or but, yeah, you, um, it was a real special moment that he didn't know and we didn't know and it kind of bonded the players at that time too. It was, a, it was only two, three years into coaching as well. And then we got it and... Well, we had, what happened at the end when we all came out, when everyone left the MCG, we stood in a circle with our arms around each other and we linked each other's arms. So you pretty much know that you're not going to see each other again given the way of trading and how it is now. Yeah. We linked each other. I sang the song with three seagulls on the Light Tower 3 <laughs> and um, it was one of the special moments there ever was and that's just how it was. Wow. And it was a wonderful, 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 wonderful final moment for me. Yeah, absolutely. Trent, do you do you look back now on, on that particular team and and uh, like we don't need to mention the players because you've already mentioned it, but the the mega stars and yeah, you, you look back, you you included, and look at that team and just go wow. Compared to teams today, you know you've yeah. got you've got a few stars in in each team. That team was just chock a block full of mega stars. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, yeah, well, I go back to what I said before about um, with, with Arco, the Kukota thing. But today, obviously, the trading and the change-ups and I want to go here and I want to go there and he's out of – so Clarko managed to hold his lead and he manages to complement it with older players and young players through, through it. Yeah. But that was just a real special 108 for me. Obviously, they went on one three more after it. If I hadn't broken my foot, I would have loved to just kept playing. You would, you but would, um, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, would have loved to play play there, uh, but um, that's just the cards you dealt, and that's what you got. And um, here we are now. Yeah, just chilling. Well, you didn't do too bad, <laughs> mate. Yeah, uh, two hundred and twenty-two AFL games, Jeez. mate, and uh, eleven seasons. Uh, I reckon you did pretty good. Uh, you, your little time over at Fremantle, though, you, yeah. You know, as I said, I, obviously on one eye, I was I was excited when you came back. I mean. The other question, sorry, I'm just going to jump ahead of that. What, you, you're, a, you're a big You're sucking the hook. Yeah. You're sucking the hook. Yeah, you're, 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 you're 19, well, you're 1.9 in height. So when you came through, obviously as a younger fellow, was you always tall or 
I know you're athletic. You said you're athletic, but did you yeah, always no, have that height? I, 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 I can tell you, when it came out of the Stingrays, when the, when the club yep. was allowed one 17-year-old, I was 188 and I grew to 191. And I, my weight, sorry, at Stingrays, I was 188 and 88 kilos and I played at a... 190, I was 191 and about 100 and 101. 101 kilos. So that's the... Well, I had to. I had to, yeah. to play, I had to be able to play on Jonathan Brown one week and then yeah. chase Nick Rewalt for 1,700 kilometres. And then, I had, yeah, your big stay-at-home forwards and you had that well, now. But today's key season. position players, um, it's not so much like the full Back, or the back needs to be at the top of the Ford 50 at the other end of the other players now and the grid systems they're running. But, um, yeah, that's just the way it is now. So it's, it's very different. It's, it's funny. So who would you rate the toughest player that you've played on then? Great question. Get asked that. Um, I could say Pavlich. I could say Rewalt. I could say Barry Hall, Lynch. I could say the yeah. biggest, deepest skill. you played on but do you know what I'll say to you? Is Buddy Franklin in a trial pre match? Is that right? At yeah, my yeah. Well, that I, is what well, I'll say. Yeah. And maybe that's what made it good. Yeah. Sam Mitchell, Hodge, imagine this. I'll give you something real different. Hodge goes to Rioli, Mitchell goes to Hodge, Crow goes to Franklin. Yeah. You're in the one. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. You're all, you're all playing Does together. That sense, boy? Yeah. yeah. Your cheeks are on rosy, old boy. Well, the, 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 I couldn't quite hear that. What was that? <laughs> Here's or mine. What was you that? You got excited, Ben. Hey, uh, yours. Your cheeks are gone rosy. Oh, <laughs> hey. That's all right. Amazing. That's because it, that's because it's too we rosy. Might, but... We might have to um, take a bit of a break. Uh, yeah. Are you all right, Carl? <laughs> yeah, mate. I'm right. I'll just have another beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right, mate. Look, uh, as I said, um, <laughs> no, back, no the... back, hey, back to it. That's your match. That's your match up at training. Yeah. yeah. So, no wonder we. You know, we, we, it was a good time. Well, that's what was the questions were. When I asked uh, 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 Campbell Brown the same thing, I said, well, obviously I said, you know, when you were at training and that, and so you're just complimenting what, what we said a couple of weeks ago. I said, how did you go? Who did you rate? And he told me that he, well, I can tell you now, he said for his position, and you would have been standing next to him, but he said yeah. uh, Jeff Farmer, and he mentioned, uh, who was the other guy, uh Guy from um, well, Jeff Farmer was one, I think. Oh, Jason Ackermanis. Yeah, okay. because that those guys could yep. turn him inside out. Oh. With you, I'd imagine it'd be strength, uh, leading, all that sort of thing. You had to go. Well, well you make another great point there with Clarko, where there was a deficiency in Hawthorne prior to it. You got to think back to two thousand and one. See, yeah. it's where Clarko came in so well. So two thousand one, we played in the prelim against Essendon. Yeah, I hit the post like. Uh, about, I'd say, 80 out or out at 10 metres every time. Uh, Hawthorne, <laughs> played in the 2001, Hawthorne played in the 2001 prelim final. Yes. Then there was three years down. Then we came back in 04, but won one in 08. And then Clark has gone on to win four, whatever they've got now. Yeah. People only look at what he's, Clark has done since he's been there. But if you look at the transition period, there was a 2001 grand final. That uh, that ran under Schwabby, I think. Oh, that's Peter Schwab. Then, so if you look back from 01 through to 08 and then onwards, there's, yeah, there's four years before him. He had to transition. So he got it back on track where some people like Carlton's or, um, yeah, have been sitting there for 10 years trying to figure out what to do. Whatever, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good, uh, to, good, good to see you got the back up there. Uh, <laughs> so, what's what's it like in your household when Carlton oh, plays? Oh, well, that's a very good question. Yeah, I bet the bags go flying then, don't they? Hey, <laughs> oh, mate, Kate and I live with him, with Alex for six months. You should try if I don't close the door. If I don't put a cup away, if I don't, if that isn't there. That, but now. I basically go to work, I do the washing, the ironing, and I ask her to come with her her media career. What you cook cook for dinner tonight, Trent? Um, It's on its way now. (laughs) (laughs) 
just get an Uber, yeah. mate. Just get a takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's um, Chris, and I've kept him on the regular for cash. Don't worry yeah, about nice. it. <laughs> nice. Nice. You, you, you don't really want to talk about Frio, mate, when you went over there. Oh, I just the, owned the, the tears will come out. But, uh, yeah, he yeah, will. Uh, let's, let's, I, I, I had it here. I, 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 had to, I had to look it up because I didn't watch you then. But you, 42, <laughs> go- <laughs> 40, 42 goals you kicked. He's probably just bloody hung up on us. Uh, I'm only, I am joking, mate. I'm serious. Uh, 2000, no, I'm 2000, more, <laughs> 2002, you kicked 42 goals, which is a bloody good effort for Frio yeah, yeah. Uh, in, the, in your second season there. And, uh, and then, oh, sorry, in your second season... Uh, you, you, you probably only kicked what about eighteen goals, and yet then you went back to the Hawks. Was that the, the thing to go back to Hawthorne? Was that to get back to Victoria? You was a little bit homesick, or what was the go there? No, like, obviously, you know, if I was really honest, obviously, yeah, at the time I was really shattered that I was part of a trade bait. But obviously, the uh, yeah, the Judd Ball and the um, the other guy. Um, yeah, was it Judd Ball and oh that guy Hodge came through, yes, and he um yes. and basically he, uh, that draft came through. Um, basically, what I was told, Hawthorne wouldn't trade any other, no other club would trade anyone else. I met with Essendon Football Club. I met with Sheedy at the Hilton. Yep. I met with um, a lot of people. Uh, I could, yeah. St Kilda, I met with Hawthorne, but the only people that I would trade with uh, Essendon Hawthorne would not. You asked John Hook this, Hawthorne would not trade with this in football club. Okay. So uh, basically the, the option was Hawthorne, but um, Derm said we might get you back soon. So two years into a four-year contract, I was back with um, number 15 telling me what to do, or him telling me, or me yelling at him, or him yelling at me. Yeah. Well, so the guy I was actually traded for, but the protest at the football club was wonderful. My mum actually was in the background. She actually hid behind a bush there uh, at the uh, the protest they had there. But, you know, it was wonderful to come home. It was wonderful to uh, have a rethink, have a restart, and even though the time Fremantle, but to four years uh, four years later after after 2004 to 2008 to win one, it was um, just it's a wonderful thing that ties a lot of people together. Yeah. The, the line in the sand... Mate, was you in that? The game? Yeah, the, absolutely. Yeah, Vander. Matthew, you Matthew. was, of course, it was. Uh, Vander. What's he? Oh, I've got a cap. Richie Vanderberg. Vanderberg. Sorry. Vanderberg. I mean, yeah, Vanderberg was the captain and at that time. And um, what was I've the. Lost you. You, I've lost you. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yep. sorry. Can, um, what was the. Now, you hear. I've heard what? different things over the mm-hmm. uh, time. You know, Dermot Merritt and talking to you guys at half time and all that and saying enough's a bloody enough. You know, you're playing Essendon Football Club and, uh, you know, they, they stuck it to us or stuck it to you or us. I say us. You know, you're part of, you're yeah, part I'm of part, us. I'm part of oh, oh, I am actually. I, well, I, I did have a game on uh, Darren Pritchard down here, oh, mate, before on. he got there. I did about that. I, I can I say that. Uh, but um, it, it was it was a highlight. I oh, actually beat him too. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, look. So, what was that like? Was that was that true part of folklore that yeah, well, uh, had it down? The, the line Dermy in the comes sand. down the room. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, Dermy the, comes down. Yeah, so you, you follow on with that, mate. Yes. Is that? In no, I'll just do what you tell me to do. Well, what would you like me no, to do? No, you're right. Yeah. No, is, <laughs> he's he's yeah. telling the story. I can't hear it. Sorry. <laughs> is that true that Doom no, right. and came well, down? Straight, Sorry. Up, straight up, Doom comes down to the rooms at half time, raging like a bull and beautiful man. I, we've, I'm very close to Doom. He just t- almost took over the whole club and then put us on all on notice. And then everyone just went out and punched the shit out of each other for the next half an hour afterwards. I was standing at full back with, um, I was on Matthew Lord and I uh, touched him, feel going on, you know, watching I'm going to put my arm out. Yeah. And then I'm like looking at him, looking at me, and we're like, are you going to go or am I going to go? We're going to go. And then, and then just as it finished, Matthew and I came in late <laughs> and um, it had all finished by then and then it moved on. So basically Matthew probably didn't want to wreck his face or I didn't want to wreck mine. 
<laughs> Actually, I'm not, I'm not having a go at you, mate, but Brownie said you... Well, you know, he didn't say just him. He said he the whole said the team whole, with the blonde, the blonde, the blonde tips. tips. And... You, you had blonde tips back then, mate. Yes. yes. All calls, all, all, uh, what's wrong with having blonde tips and fake tan looking good while you win? Well, it's when you're exactly, losing. mate. I mean, when you when you're one point nine and ninety two or hundred kilos or whatever, I suppose you can yeah. do what you bloody like, mate. Like, but like, uh, well, I just love that you stop wearing that. I love that you stop wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's true. That's true. Yes. I, I used to. I used to have hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Trent. Yeah, so I, 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 I googled you before. I've got some really good stuff on you. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe Google and Amir's. Oh yes, don't believe Google. Yeah, don't don't, believe whatever you Google. do, don't do that. And just, just quickly, I just want to ask you, you: you played fullback and you played forward. What's your, what's your preference, back or forward? Hmm. You know, back definitely. Yeah, okay. Before, when I was at Frio, they never played me back at all. I could have been sent off back with Havlich, but um, I love that I was sent off back with Hodgie to Buddy and Ruffy. Yeah, yeah. Well, mate, no, you're an absolute star, mate. Absolutely. Mate, fantastic to have you on the show. No, we just know, can't mate. thank you enough for coming on, even on. <laughs> can, I have, you know, can I please have a T-shirt? Yeah. Oh, we're just gonna just see one yeah, quick t-shirt. question. John Kennedy Senior, mate, what did he mean to you? Yeah, no, nah, real... Yeah, good question. Uh, goosebumps again. Huge impact on Clarko. Obviously, I missed it. Yeah, way, way missed his era, but his voice, his voice travels through the club like you wouldn't believe, and that's the best way that I could say it. It doesn't matter what generation, it doesn't matter what uh, culture, religion, any of this drama of, of anything of anybody or any problems that you have. His voice just travels through the football club like you wouldn't believe. And um, it's amazing uh, the statue of him at uh, Waverley Park where he's pointing out. And if we all were just neutral and we just did what we said we want to do and we did and we do what we want to do, um, don't say, just do, just do. Uh, we'd all just be a bit of a bit, it would be in a better way. Yeah, so uh, sure. um, sometimes passion removes everything. And um, if if someone's win, but his voice travels through the club very well. Yeah, yeah no, that's great, mate. mate uh, tr- anyway. Trent Craig, you are a superstar, mate. We can't thank you enough for coming on the show, buddy. There is a shirt coming your way, yeah. and uh, well, thanks to you and well, Kate and Kate for putting up with us. Yeah, again. so uh, enjoy your time up at Ballarat, mate, and uh, with the kids, and keep your jumper on. <laughs> keep your jumper on, mate. But uh, yeah. your jumper is going to be for you. What was that? Uh, what was it? That's my premiership jumper I was going to send to you. Oh, really? Oh, oh, you do that, mate. No, You're definitely no. coming down. All right, boys. No, yeah, good to thanks, talk to you, Trent. Thanks, Trent. Thanks, yeah. mate. Thanks, Cheers. mate. Talk soon, mate. Bye, 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 Another bloody legend, mate. How, how good are these people coming on the show? How, how, how much mate. fun was he? Well, as I said, he, he can have a laugh, and I think we we I think when people have a look back at it, and that uh, that's what they'll get out of it yeah, because he's yeah. so. But no, look, I enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully our viewers enjoyed it. I'm Jeff, sure they will, mate. I'm sure they will. Thing, yeah. so. if, <laughs> if you enjoy what we're doing, guys, please subscribe, yes. like, share it with your friends Bring because uh, we were interviewed. Glenn, we've interviewed some amazing people we in the last sixteen months, and. Uh, yeah, the the stories out there are just tremendous, and well, it needs to get out. Well, he's a, he's another footballer now. With not just in the last couple of weeks, really, we've had uh, obviously now Trent Crowe, but we've had uh, the great Campbell Brown, and Lenny Hayes. He was a sensational guy, and we had Lenny Hayes, who uh, again now all of all you know uh, a legend, isn't he? Yes. All time, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So all, uh, all, all are famous. Chris, sorry, Chris McDermott. Uh, Chris McDermott from the Adelaide Crows. So we're. We've been blessed in that, but all those guys have got their own story to tell. They do. And uh, we're just privileged. And hopefully, as I said, again, it's, it's the viewers. It's not just us yeah. talking to them. They've got a story to tell. And yeah. hopefully our viewers enjoy it, mate. So as you said, ring the bell and uh, subscribe because it costs you... Zippo. Zippo. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next week. Hey guys, I'm Views. You're all listening to the Friday Frothy. What a fantastic show.
Good evening, folks. Welcome to the Friday Frothy. Another great interview, Glenn. It just keeps keeps rolling, mate. Oh. Hey? God, mate. This, what, what's this, that, can we mention what we just... <laughs> no, this is the on intro. <laughs> no! Can't! 